At the crossroads between north and south in Thedas sits the oft-disputed lands of the Free Marches. Though often called marchers by foreigners, the people of the Free Marches think of themselves as being of their respective city-states first and foremost. They do have a shared history, being mostly descendants of the Planocene peoples conquered by the Tevinter Imperium in ancient times, or settlements created by the Imperium itself. They were liberated from the Imperium's rule when the Prophet Andraste led a horde of Alamari barbarians north from Ferelden and shattered the Southern Imperium in 160 Ancient. The region called the Free Marches today was briefly ruled by Evrian, son of the Alamari warlord Mafarath, but he disavowed his lineage and distributed his holdings among his subjects after it came to light that his father had conspired in the death of Andraste. The cities of the Free Marches quickly declared their independence. To this day, few in Thetis prize freedom and independence as dearly as the Marchers. That independent spirit is one of the very few things they share. There is little political or cultural unity among the Marcher cities, save for a handful of traditions held in common, and an occasional willingness to band together when one of the greater powers of Thetis, or some other existential threat, rears its head. Though that willingness to unify is far from a certainty, and they have not always been able to resist such threats, swaths of the Free Marches have been annexed and held by the Tevinter Imperium, the Orlesian Empire, and even the Kunari at various times through the centuries. To the west, the Kingdom of Navarra was once the Western Free Marches before the kings of Navarra City began conquering their neighbors. An infamous ruler of the Marcher city of Starkhaven once spent decades attempting to do the same to turn the Free Marches into a single kingdom, without success. Even absent imperial ambitions, minor wars and conflicts between the cities are not uncommon. Culturally, each city is very distinct from one another as well. The city of Ostwick has close cultural ties to Ferelden, while the city of Kirkwall still uses Orlesian titles of nobility from its time as an Orlesian possession. The city of Tantervale is highly religious, and uses the city guard to enforce chantry morality teachings by law, while the city of Wycombe is known as the revelry capital of Thetis. Nonetheless, there are a few common traditions held by the Marchers, most notably the Grand Tourney, perhaps the largest and most well-known contest of arms in Thetis. Knights from every kingdom travel to attend, even Orlesian Chevalier and warriors from Tevinter. There is another less frequently invoked tradition in the Free Marches. City leaders traditionally have the right to name champions, a champion is someone that has shown their dedication to the city through great acts and leadership. The title is a mark of immense respect and possibly fear in the Free Marches. It marks a person as extremely competent, potentially dangerous, and highly dedicated to defending their home. It is not an honor given out frivolously or frequently. Most times a champion has been named for helping to combat a great crisis. Starkhaven named a champion during the Fourth Blight, as Darkspawn ravaged the Free Marches. Tantervale named a champion during the Blessed Age when Navarra tried to expand its territory into the Free Marches. In the Dragon Age, Kirkwall named a champion when a small Kunari army briefly took over the city and killed the Viscount. In each case, the champion received their title after they had performed great deeds defending their city in response to the crisis. By no coincidence, those three cities tend to be regarded as the leading cities of the Free Marches in wealth and influence. From its position by the narrowest point of the Waking Sea, Kirkwall is one of the busiest ports in Thetis, despite the long, troubled history of the city once having been the capital of the Tevinter slave trade, and having been conquered several times since. 
The ruler of Kirkwall holds the title of Viscount, originally an Orlesian title, first used by a chevalier that was appointed to rule the city when Orlais liberated it from the Cunari. The Kirkwallers kept the title even after throwing off Orlesian rule. Starkhaven is the largest city in the Free Marches and said to be one of the richest cities in Thetis, profiting from its position on the Menanter River and its central location to overland trade routes. The city has been ruled by the Vale family for centuries. Rejecting the title of king and other grandiose appellations that past rulers of the city has claimed, the Vales have always used the title of prince. Tantervale is a proven military power, having successfully driven back the expansionism of Navarra less than a century ago. It has a reputation for fanatical enforcement of Chantry teachings. It is said that a street urchin could spend a year in the dungeons in Tantervale for a crime that would have gotten him a slap on the wrist in Orlais. The ruler of Tantervale is entitled the Lord or Lady Chancellor. There are other cities to take note of, if none quite as influential as these three. The following are most of the other notable martyr cities, and a little bit of information about them. The city of Ansberg is known for being a bustling central of agricultural trade, if sometimes seen as an ugly backwater. The ruler of the city uses the male title Margrave, or the female title Margravine. Ansberg's more cultured sister city, Markham, is known as a center of agricultural research with one of the largest universities in Thetis, and is thus one of the reasons the Free Marches is sometimes regarded as the breadbasket of Thetis. The city of Hasmal has the unenviable position of existing on the border of two expansionist powers, Navarra and Tevinter. Within living memory, Navarra briefly captured the city during the Blessed Age before the champion of Tantervale, Cade Arvale, pushed back their advance into the Free Marches in 882 Blessed. Hasmal's position at the southern edge of the Silent Plains means that it regularly receives refugees from the Imperium, mostly escaped slaves. Hercinia is famous for its palatial luxuries, but also for high taxes and being a favored target for raiding activity. Like Kirkwall and Starkhaven, Hercinia's rulers have made several failed attempts to take the island of Estwatch, an infamous pirate port, in order to curtail these activities, but to no avail. Ostwick is known to have very close cultural ties to its neighbor across the Waking Sea, the Kingdom of Ferelden. In fact, the rulers of the city use the title of Tern, an old Alamari title for powerful warlords that is still used by the highest ranks of Ferelden nobility. During the Kunari invasions of the Storm Age, a large Kunari army landed near Ostwick, while the Kunari were chiefly interested in capturing Kirkwall and Starkhaven, the impression this left on the populace can be seen in the impressive double walls that now encircle the city. Wycombe is a fishing town, but is primarily known as a raucous city of few inhibitions. It is the second greatest importer of Antivan wine in Thetis, behind only the entire Orlesian Empire despite having a population less than a third the side of the Orlesian capitals. People sometimes call it the freest of the martyr cities. Wycombe has traditionally been ruled by a duke. Possibly of interest, most of these cities have their own circles of magi, which gives the free marches more circles than any kingdom or empire in Thetis. As it has been for over a thousand years, the Free Marches remain a chaotic region of shifting power struggles and frequent warfare, but its people carry a fiercely independent spirit, willing to defy even the greatest powers of Thetis. 
Well, that's my entry on the free marches for now. I'd love to have videos on more of these cities, but truth be told, there isn't much more to them aside from what I've provided in my summaries here, as of my time of uploading. Oh well, I can always make videos as the lore expands. There is some discrepancy about which marcher cities have circles of magi, which is why I tried to be a bit vague about that. There's a loading screen in Dragon Age 2 that says only Kirkwall and Starkhaven have circles of magi, but other sources in Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition mention that Hasmal, Ansberg, Ostwick, and Markham all have circles of magi. I have added a discount code for the Bioware gear store in the video description for those that might be interested. It should be good for a few days. I think that's all I have for you now. I hope you all have a good day.